Selling cigarettes to smugglers who pay jihadists to protect the convoys. That's the accusation levelled against the Burkina Faso representative of Philip Morris International by the organised crime and corruption enforcement officer, OCCRP. In a February report, the Sarajevo-based group cites officials, rivals and former colleagues of Apollinaire Compaore, who accuse him of funding terrorism through smuggling into Mali, Niger, Nigeria and Libya. It also accuses Burkina Faso authorities and the Swiss-American tobacco giant of being complicit in a vast smuggling operation centred around a warehouse in the northern town of Marcoy. Indeed, we think Philip Morris was aware of what he was doing. There's also clear indications that parts of the Burkina Bay state, including customs, were involved in the warehouse at Marcoya. In fact, the customs officer we interviewed characterized it as a mafia at the top of the state. Burkina Faso's customs was not available to comment on the accusations against the agency in Pompore, who also owns a major bank for telecoms company. In a written response, Philip Morris said there is no evidence of wrongdoing by the company and no information indicating their product shipped to Burkina Faso was smuggled into neighboring countries. But a 2019 UN report also found that a company owned by Compore supplied regional smugglers to the He knowingly supplies those that traffic, and he must be aware of this because there's no legal market for those cigarettes once he brings it to uh, northern Burkina Faso. In an exclusive interview for VOA, Compaore refutes all these accusations. Yes, the United Nations lied, and even those who worked on the report for them are no longer employed by them. One of the richest men in Burkina Faso, Compaore also dismissed claims in the OCCRP report that two of his companies have never paid taxes. Are they the director of general taxes? They are all lying to harm me. They are lies. When asked if there is any evidence of Compaore being involved in cigarette smuggling, a Burkina Faso tax department official cited confidentiality laws. Ce que je sais. But what I can say is that the tax authorities are very rigorous. We do not allow this type of action to go unpunished. Whether or not authorities take action, the allegation that cigarette smuggling supports Sahel terrorism is not expected to go away anytime soon. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Wagadougou, Burkina Faso.